Okay, y'all, we actually got some rather sad news to report. So, starting off with the Queen Bee, honey, and the iconic Solange knows the African dainty that we all love that is on this earth that gives us craze in the sky. You know how I feel. Honey gives us all the cranes and the African garments. Their father, honey, none other than Matthew knows who we've had some controversy with over the years. We had to call him on to the Diva Wine China. He, even he was not exempt from a uh, war read, honey, but we actually have to give some uh, empathies and sympathies out for Matthew because he just overcame none other than breast cancer. Yes, you heard right. Contrary to popular belief, men can get breast cancer as well. It's not just subject to women. And Matthew Knows has joined a list of one out of 1,000 men who will be diagnosed with breast cancer. And y'all know this takes a personal, you know, toll on me and it hits home being, you know, from a colon cancer survivor's perspective. So dealing with cancer in general is no, you know, joke. It's like, it's very debilitating especially if you have to go through the treatments you have to deal with the hair loss you got to deal with your skin darn gone darkening and all of that it's like it's, it's no walking apart even if you are black it's like you don't want to be 50 shades of black because that radiation will have your skin all charred up it, it isn't trust me it's not a good look so fortunately he went um through the treatment looks like he it was very minor for him and that he was able to detect the early good thing. He was somebody who worked with Xerox. Honey, shout out to Xerox, honey. I've actually had some dealings with them too. Unfortunately, not on the pay scale that Mr. Matthew Knows has done. Y'all know Matthew Knows was the head of Xerox back in the 80s, honey. So he was darn on making them six figures back then, honey. Beyonce was not wanting for nothing, honey. Between having a, a cosmetologist for a mother who was the most recommended in H-Town, and then having a father who ran Xerox, honey, Beyonce was just destined, honey. And so, and then came Solange, and she was going to follow right in on the second lead, honey. But that goes to show, no matter how much money you have, no matter how much health you have, as far as, you know, being able to afford the best doctors, or, you know, selling the Xerox machines to test for breast cancer, it can happen to you as well. So that goes to show that everybody, especially black people, we need to be tested. We need to stop this taboo-ness of not wanting to get tested, especially men. Because if Matthew knows ain't proof that it can happen to you, I, I don't know what is. So this is a PSA. Go get tested. Especially if you are a man that has pecs or if you have the moves, the man boobs, honey. Now, with me, I don't think it's, you know, we we, we giving the pizza neon go tea, so I, I don't necessarily have to work. But, but even with me, you know, I still go, and, you know, to the oncologist annually to get checked as far as the colon, you know, your colon not. And that's even worse. Like, I think men would be definitely a lot more scared of the back door than anything. I don't think they would, I don't think they necessarily would mind, you know, a mammogram per se because filling up on mood man boobs you know in the pecs is not as you know invasive to a man as you know going through the back door so either way and besides you're going to be knocked out anyway it's like go ahead drink the fluid i prefer you go and pay the 120 some dollars and get the one that's in the small can Instead of being cheap, see, my ass, I was cheap, and I ended up getting the big old gallon thing that I had to drink throughout the whole damn day. See, they done came a long way. The first time, they didn't even have the small option. By the time I had to go through it again, honey, now they done came out with the one that's like a soda. It, it still don't taste like no soda. That thing, gonna, thing tastes like darn on compliment, but it, it beats drinking that whole darn on gallon over the course of eight hours. Instead, I can just drink the small one instead. And it, it clears me out for, you know, the colonoscopy early in the morning. They always schedule you early in the morning. About 8 o'clock in the morning, you got to be there and everything. They knock you on now. You wake up. You're still a little bit loopy. You have to have somebody drive you home. And then you'll be about, you'll be fully aware within two hours after you leave your appointment. 
So yeah, go ahead and get checked out. Uh, make sure you change your whole matter of fact. Just going through cancer, it will change your lifestyle by default, honey. Matter of fact, that what made me start my very first YouTube channel. It all and becoming natural because before that, honey, I was the darn on Bath and Body Works girl. The Don of Olay was my favorite um um soap to wash with. I love me some Dove, honey, back in the day. Dove Don of Olay, the Olay lotion. I was the girl that was not afraid of a good texturizer. Honey, I did it all. Y'all wouldn't, I mean, y'all look at my YouTube channel, you wouldn't think I would. I was that girl that did everything. Trust me, I was the one that did everything. And I completely did a 180. Now I have been seven years free of any chemicals as far as on my skin. I don't put no lotions on my skin that's not natural. I deal with Shea Moisture, Nubrin Heritage lotions only. Um, I deal with my oils, my jojobas, my almond oils. Also, my cold press black seed oil. This is the brand that I use. I'm actually going to be changing up some matcha soon. I'm going to be trying the uh, amazing herbs that everybody's been talking about. And then one other brand and do a comparison video. But I love my black seed oil, honey. I, I use this on my lips. Whenever I get my canker sores in my mouth, honey, this takes this down quite fast. It also calms my stomach and stuff down with chronic inflammation. Y'all know I suffer from Crohn's disease. So this also helps with that. And this has cured my sleep azomia. This has purely, oh, I mean, it has put my, you know, azomia in remission. Honey, y'all know darn on YouTube with their conspiracy. They be quick to take down a video if you say something to cure it. And especially I'm seeing that they're targeting videos that mention about products curing diseases. So now we just got to say it puts it in remission. So it puts your azomia in remission. Because, honey, I done seen that my girl Adriana Tucker, they done took her whole channel down behind her revealing the tea behind how natural products been working better than the medications and stuff, honey. They went real quick and snatched her whole channel down. We're going to do a whole video breaking that down on my natural channel, Diva Natural One, honey. But also, my African black soap I wash with, my shea butters. Oh, I love this smell. Like I said, changed my whole lifestyle. Now, I'm still a work in progress. Um, I still drink soda, but I've been off of Mountain Dew now for a good month. Um, I've switched over to Figo, and eventually once I start this job, once again, this job of mine has been going back and forth, back and forth. First, they hired me. Then they rescinded the higher offer. Then they tried to hire me again, but then they wanted me to go to the office in Raleigh. Y'all know I don't have a car. I'm stationed in Fayetteville. My mother ain't coming up off her car, nor do I want to be traveling to Raleigh to go to a call center. It's like, girl, if I'm going to be traveling like that, I could have just gone on did the spa gig that tried to hire me in Raleigh. It's like all the jobs in Raleigh want to hire you, girl. It's just I can't make the move out of Fayetteville. It's like, uh-uh, I need a car first if I'm going to even attempt the darn on stay in Raleigh. Like, I don't mind relocating if if the area is still right like i i can see myself moving to Raleigh. for y'all that was suggesting no um new, in new york honey uh-uh i can't even stay in this space right now what do i look like paying 14 dollars to have the same amount of space that i can't stand right now and then i have to be subject to rats honey the, uh despite being a country girl i've never seen a rat a day in my life inside of a house Except for the one time a possum managed to come through the damn gold door. And that was the last motherfucking time. I've only hated I was subject to one possum in my entire lifetime. And that motherfucker got up out of that house quick, fast, and the motherfucker hurt. But I've never dealt with no actual rats in the house. No God, honey. No, no, no. I can't do it. And then y'all roaches be like the water bugs that we have in the South that only comes in when it rains. Like, we only deal with one water bug at a time that's about like this. Oh, and that bitch flew the other. And that's rare. And I mean, honey, we be badass about to kill the roach up until that motherfucker flies, honey. Then we darn gonna get gone. Honey, that darn gonna thing flew. And I was, I still had to spray my room half the way with the braid. That's the only closest thing I get to chemicals, honey. I can't darn on forego my raid, honey, because I'm, I, I'm not living with no water bugs every time it rains, honey. I even get the blue one to block it, so 
any ones that tend to come in, they I, I don't check, honey. They be dead by morning time because they they cross that block guard, honey. They be laid dead. But that's the closest thing we come to roaches in the south, honey. I don't do the small German cockroaches infestation. No, we 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 make sure not to have any of that. But you know, our, everybody in the south occasionally gets that water bug that comes in, in when it rains. But y'all get them just on the regular in New York. No God, honey. And then I want a garage too, and I had to move to the server. Oh no, you talking about six, seven hundred thousand dollars? But that's a little bit of my personal life talk. If y'all want to know more about that, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I know we got off subject real quick, but I thought I'd just go ahead and just highlight everything on in this video since I'm, you know, doing another video for the day. But once again, uh, congratulations on. Uh, Matthew knows on joining the remission team, keeping up the good fight. Now, hopefully, he joins us in the naturalness and switch over if he hasn't already. Once again, go get you some black seed oil, Matthew. Invest into invest into some CBD, African black soap, and shea butter. You be good to go. Um, natural, you know, health as far as intrinsically. I'm still a work in progress. Now, of course, y'all know, like I said, I still have my sodas and my snacks, and I'm a diva on a budget, just getting back employed for the up team time. Like I said, this job been giving me the runaround. But I still, you know, manage to make my stuff um, on a humble budget. My plantains, my sweet potato pancakes. I no longer use anchovy. Oh, I used to love me some anchovy syrup, honey. I, I splurge and just get the organic one instead, you know. The goal is to try to stay away from high fructose corn syrup, which is in a lot of sweeteners, honey. Um, avoiding, you know, regular sugar. If you have to use sugar, um, you know, use coconut sugar instead. Coconut sugar and or brown sugar are your better options to go. Um, tea, I don't use my sugars at all. Like when I'm taking my collagen peptides, I will use my Lipton tea. And not the Lipton from the store, because the Lipton from the store has high fructose corn syrup in it. But the tea bags actually are high fructose um, corn syrup free. So that's one thing to point out. Um, in the actual gallons already pre-made, that has the fructose um, syrup in it, but the bags don't. I warm that up, put my um, agave honey up in there, my organic honey. I'm good to go, honey. So with that being said, those are some health tips today um, to help you out when you are post remission from your cancer and just daily intake in general, even if you're not suffering from cancer or any other, uh, you know, debilitating disease such as, you know, I still deal with Crohn's disease on the regular, but it still helps you out because I can't even, it's been some months since I've had, you know, a chronic flare up that's been very heavy. Um, you know, of course, we had the medical issue at the last job, but since then, we have not had any more hiccups. I'm looking forward to this upcoming job, and that's all by way of, you know, staying positive. And that's another thing, because stress will really bring you down uh, as well. Stress will bring on a lot of, you know, autoimmune disorders that are triggering. People don't realize that lupus can be flared up by stress, Crohn's disease can be flared up by stress, uh, etc. So... Keeping your mood up is another thing as well when you're de um, dealing with a debilitating condition. But yeah, once again, congratulations, Matthew. Hopefully, I can be saying congratulations to myself with this job because like I said, it's been up and down. I can't wait to finally give y'all an update on the business channel. Like I said, they hired me, then resent the offer, then wanted me to go to Raleigh. Couldn't go take the offer in Raleigh. Now, they done gave me another offer. And I had to do an inspection of my room. I had to showcase the room and everything. Had to clear out the TV and all that. I'm going to have to find another place to put the TV um, if they bring, they send this monitor and stuff out. And then hopefully I will start next week, this time next week. So we're going to have our fingers crossed on that. So that's all that this week is going on with Diva Wine along with the Celebrity Talks. Once again, congratulations to Matthew Nose. So that's it, y'all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If y'all want more insight on me, subscribe. I'll give y'all more update on the job front. Um, in addition to some talks, I got an old video that I recorded a week ago 
that I have yet to upload because once again, it's another Debbie Downer video. And y'all know me. I don't like to go back to back with the negative videos. So sometimes I hold those off. So I got one video already pre-recorded. But I'm going to save that until after this job. That way we can balance it off with some positivity. Because I don't like to just do negative videos back to back um, every time it comes to personal talk. I like to balance them out and have some positive videos to come back with it. Oh, and I got some shocking news from my gr from my grandmother who's been deceased for nearly 10 years. So that's going to be another shocker in itself um, that y'all want to stay tuned for. We just got some surprising news from her beyond the grave. So if y'all want to learn that, um, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.